What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video I got episode three of All About Shoulders. Today I'm gonna show you five different front delt exercises to smash your front delts. All right, like I said in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about front delts, just showing you a bunch of different exercises that are my go-tos whenever I am trying to target front delts during a shoulder workout. I also mentioned how this is part three of my All About Shoulders playlist. If you wanna check out that playlist, you can go up to the card up here. I got a video all about getting your shoulders wider, hitting that medial head. I got a video about the rear delts, got a shoulder today for you about the front delts, gonna do a video about traps next, and then bring it all together for a shoulder workout. So if you're watching this, maybe at least a week out from when it was actually posted, so if you're watching this next year from when it is right now, then you can watch all the videos by going up to that card and uh, just checking out the playlist. Um, but other than that, if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribing, that way you get to watch these videos first, you get notified when I post a new video, that way you're getting informed, you get new exercises all the time, new workouts to try out all the time, so that we can get in shape, get in great shape together. So uh, I'm gonna get into this video now. Um, like I said, I got five different exercises that are gonna be amazing for anybody who is trying to target the front delt of your shoulder. As y'all know, um, the deltoids consist of three main heads. You got your front, the side, and the rear. Today, we're gonna be talking all about the part that really separates um, the, the shoulder from the chest, and the biceps really just helps give that 3D appearance. So it's gonna be great uh, just to look more aesthetic. And also it's going to help with building up your bench press just because your bench press actually includes a lot of that front delt, a lot of your shoulders. So these exercises are gonna help out with that. So jumping into the first exercise, we got Arnold presses. Now Arnold presses are definitely more of a compound shoulder exercise because they are gonna be targeting different parts of your uh, different muscles, I should say, um, but it's going to be heavily focused on that front delt simply because your arms are going to be in front of you. So Arnold press is going to look something like this. You're going to have it, you're going to be in a shoulder press position, but rather than starting out like this, you're actually going to be bringing your elbows together and down a little farther. And then from here, you're going to have your palms facing you. And then as you press up, you're actually going to rotate your wrists so that they are facing forward. And as you get up, they're going to be up forward at the top and then you're gonna come back down and you're gonna twist them back inwards. Your elbows are gonna go probably just down below um, your nips. You're gonna get your arms down below a 90 degree angle. And from there, you're going to press up while rotating your palms forward. Down, rotating your palms in, for up, forward. Down, and then really focusing on using your shoulders, really focusing on that mind-muscle connection, I should say bringing those elbows forward rather than bringing them out and then up. So you're just focusing on bringing them forward and rotating the wrists up and back down. So nice controlled motion just like that. Really going to help to smash that front delt. Also just gonna hit a bunch of all different areas of your deltoid, but really focus on that front delt. So exercise number one and a great compound shoulder exercise is the Arnold press. Now exercise number two, we're gonna get up from the bench, we're gonna be standing, we're gonna grab some lighter dumbbells here and this is going to be possibly the most commonly done front delt exercise, which is going to be a standing front raise. Now you can do these with dumbbells, you can do them with barbells, but what you're gonna do is just stand here, you're going to really focus on getting your shoulders down and back into a nice strong position. From there, rather than creating a bunch of momentum and swinging the weight up and going back down, which is what you see all the time. See guys getting 50, 60 pound dumbbells and you're looking like idiots going like this. When they're just, all they're doing is bouncing with their knee, creating a bunch of momentum, getting minimal deltoid activation and not really doing much for their body. So instead of doing that, grab some lighter dumbbells. Don't be bouncing with your knees. Don't be creating any kind of momentum and get a little more strict with the exercise. So what you're gonna do is just, you can go double or you can go single, double is definitely gonna be harder. So depending on the weight that you're using, if you're gonna go double, get those shoulders back, stick that chest out from there, you're going to press your shoulders down and then you're going to press them forward. But then rather than actually trying to lift up, 
because the more of the lifting up motion that you do, the more likely you are to, to have more trap engagement. We're trying to really focus on just those front delts. So by going forward rather than up, we're going to get more front delt activation. So taking the weights, shoulders, press down, chest out, taking these weights and nice controlled motion forward and back down. Controlled motion forward and back down. Just like that and really focus on what your elbows are doing here. So you're not actually trying to just kind of lift this dumbbell up. You're taking your elbow, I'll show you this one arm, taking this elbow right here and you are just bringing this elbow from there up to level with the ground. There and back down. Up, level with the ground, back down. Because once you go any higher than level with the ground up here, that's when you start getting more of a shrug because probably going to be too heavy for you to go any farther than that. So you're going to go uh, and shrug up, shrug up. So that's when you're going to stop activating your front delt as much as you could, or you're just going to start activating another muscle along with it. So isolate the muscle as much as possible. Like I said, if you want to go single, just try to get this, get your shoulders back, chest out, push that weight forward and back down, push that weight forward, back down, controlled motion. This is going to do so much more for your shoulder than this ever could. I could do this right here all day because I'm not really using that much muscle to get this weight up. A lot of momentum versus right there. Right there. So front delt raises, exercise number two. And exercise number three, we got incline bench front delt raises. I'm gonna be using a barbell for these Again, you can go dumbbells or barbells for pretty much any of these exercises other than the Arnold presses. But um, for, he for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an incline bench, so you're gonna be leaning back on it. I like using the barbell simply because um, you know that you are going down to a specific spot every single time versus dumbbells. You, have, you, don't have, you basically don't have your lap stopping you. So by having my lap here, I can stop right before I hit my lap and go into the next rep. So what I'm gonna do here is again, I'm gonna take my chest, I'm gonna stick it out, I'm gonna roll my shoulders back. I'm also going, instead of just rolling my shoulders back and leaving them there, I'm also going to press my shoulders down. That puts them into a nice strong position. From there, I'm gonna stay in that position. I'm gonna grab this bar about just at shoulder width apart. So very natural grip right here. Um, so I'm gonna grab this weight. From there, I'm gonna start out by resting it on my, on my lap. And then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my head back and then instead of just kind of lifting this weight up, again, I'm going to try to lift the weight down, like out away from me and up at the same time. And that's going to help me with better deltoid activation rather than engaging a bunch of my traps. So it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna be leaning back. And then from there, this is not your starting position. Your starting position is actually going to be right there. So you're, you're gonna basically activate your shoulders which is gonna be your starting position. Activate them, and then you're going to press the away from your body up, and then you're going to stop right before you get perpendicular to the ground. Perpendicular to the ground will be right here, because right here, I'm no longer working my shoulders. So going back down just a little bit. Now I'm working my shoulders, going down, 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 away from my body, and right before I hit my lap, away and up. Right before I get to perpendicular, back down, away from my body, back up. Before perpendicular, back down. Before I touch my lap, back up. So just like this. And remember to always try to press this, keep this weight as far away from your body as possible. You don't wanna be doing this. You don't wanna be doing anything like that. You wanna get this weight as far away from you as possible, lift it up, and then as you go back down, keep it as far away from you as possible, and that's going to help with better deltoid activation. So exercise number three is incline bench front raises. All right, exercise number four is going to be a cable rope front raise. Now, I like this variation of the front delt exercises just because when you have, let's say you're just doing regular dumbbell front raises or barbell front raises, it's a free weight. So basically you're just going against the gravity. So you pressing it out, it gets most difficult when you're going up rather than away from your body. But away from your body is really going to help target that front delt the most. So 
by doing it with a cable and this rope. In, so I'm gonna have this rope attachment attached to the pulley down at the lowest position. From there, I'm going to stand in front of it and I'm gonna grab this rope in between my legs. And by having it like this, this rope is actually pulling back. So also when I go, for, so when I pull forward, it's pulling back, but then when I also pull up, it's also still pulling down at an angle. So it's really amazing for the front delts. So I really love this exercise. So what I'm gonna do here is the same thing I've been doing for all of them. I'm gonna get my chest out, roll my shoulders back, press them down. And then from there, I'm gonna get into my starting position. My starting position is not rested at the bottom. My starting position is not arms rested against me. My starting position is with my shoulders just barely uh, activated right there, just barely being used. And then from there, I'm gonna take my elbows. I'm going to press them away from my body, get them up to about par parallel to the ground and back down, keeping this as far from my body as possible. Just like that, a nice controlled position, nice controlled motion away from my body, keeping that rope out as far as I can the entire time. You're not bringing it up here like this, not doing anything like this. You're pushing it away from your body, almost like you're trying to get it up under something and then back down the same way. Up under something, back down the same way. Just like that. So, great exercise right there. That's exercise number four. Which brings us to our last exercise, number five, which is going to be a steering wheel. Now, some of you have probably seen people do this in the gym. Uh, maybe you haven't, and it's a brand new one to you. Either way, great, because this is a great exercise for your deltoids. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, grab a, you're gonna grab a plate. So go as heavy as you want here. I'm just using 25s to show you. If I really wanted to bump it up, I'd probably go up to 35s, probably 45s for my last set. But if you can only handle 10s or 25s, you really wanna focus on form here because this is all about maintaining deltoid tension. So what you're gonna do here is grab this plate. And I really don't like these plates that have just three handles. I typically like grabbing them um, complete opposite sides and this kind of has awkward handles for opposite sides, but I'll make do with what I got. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna basically start out with a regular front raise. So here, I'm gonna get my chest out and I'm going to raise it out away from my body up to about parallel. And then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna act like it's a steering wheel. So I'm gonna get it out away from my body. I'm gonna take it like a steering wheel and I'm gonna take my right arm and I'm gonna go up above my left arm, keeping the middle of the plate in the exact same position the whole time back down to level, then I'm gonna take my left arm and I'm gonna go up above, back down to level. Up above, back down to level, up above, back down to level. So just like this. And then you don't have to go back down to level, you can just kinda go back and forth like this and aim for it. As many reps as you seem fit, oh, that's a lot. Oh, that feels really good on the front delt just because you are hitting it from all these different minor, minorly different angles, but also keeping tension on it the whole time. So it's amazing for getting blood into the muscle, which is amazing for getting the pump and just um, building your deltoids up. So that is going to be the fifth and final exercise, a great front delt. Those are all great front delt exercises for anybody looking to build their shoulders. Um, like I said, I have a whole playlist about this, all about shoulders. I show you how to hit that outer head, the rear delt, the front delt, the traps are coming next, and then I'm gonna bring it all together for a full shoulder workout for you. If you wanna check that out, click the playlist up here. Other than that, if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you're subscribing. Also, if you are trying to get in shape and you don't know what to do and you'd like some help, I have a free body type quiz that tells you what your body type is, which helps you get in shape. I'll tell you the three most important things to do to get in shape for your body type. You can check that out by clicking the link down in the description below this video. Other than that, Smash that thumbs up button for me. Smash that subscribe button for me. Leave any comments down in the comment section. And that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.